There are a lot of WooCommerce shop owners who doesn't know that they can add orders manually and they can send the payment links to the customers. For example, here is an order, I added it manually and here is a payment link. I can send it to my customer and he or she can pay it right with this link. Therefore, I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. Also, I'm going to show you how to, you can add the phone orders to your WooCommerce based site in a way that you can add the orders here and those orders taken by phone are shown like this here. So if you're interested, then dive in. Now let's take a look how it can be done. So go to WooCommerce orders, and click on add order. You have two options, whether the customer is a guest customer or it's a registered customer. If you choose the guest customer, then the billing options has to be filled by you. So let's do it. The same way you can add the shipping address here, but I'm not going to do it or I can copy from the billing address. Now, in order to add the products, click on the add items button here and now add products button. Search for the product, for example, shirt. Change the quantity if needed. Another product if needed and add. Now, since I want to add the shipping, I'm going to press once again at add items button and add shipping here. Choose shipping, for example, flat rate. Change the title if needed. And add the price. Click on save. And as you see, there is no value added tax shown here. Therefore, click on recalculate and OK and the tax is added here. Next, press on create button. And if you want to send the customer the payment page, just copy the link and send the link. If the customer opens it up, all the active payment methods are here and he or she can pay it. There is a slight difference if you add the order to the already registered customer. Let's take a look. I'm going to add the order to this customer. All those fields are here pre-filled. Everything goes the same. Product, shirt, add. I'm going to add shipping again. Save. If I want to add the coupon, I'm going to click here and add the coupon, but right now I'm not going to do it. So recalculate. OK. Press on create button. But now if I copy the link and send it to the customer, since the customer is registered, he or she has to log in like this. And now the payment is visible. So this was adding the orders in a manual way and sending the payment links. But maybe you need a, a bit uh, different solution because there are lots of phone orders you take all, every day. Therefore, let's find a solution for this one also. Go to plugins and add new. Now search for phone orders. This one here. Install and activate it. And if you do that, then under the WooCommerce and phone orders, there is new menu. Let's start with settings. If you want to automatically update shipping taxes, activate this one here. If you don't want to send the order emails, activate this one. Under the layout, you can choose whether to show the date or time or order status or payment method. I have all, all those activated. Under the interface, there is nothing to configure except the Collapse WordPress menu if you want. I don't want it. Therefore, I'm going to take a look at the WooCommerce. I like the icon for phone orders in orders list. What it is, is this icon here, as you see, phone icon. This symbolizes that uh, this order is 
taken by phone. Next on cart items, if you want to allow the fractional quantities, then activate this one, scrollable cart contents and show column discount I have activated. I also like to show the detailed taxes, therefore this here is activated. Under the coupons there is nothing to configure, under the shipping, since I want to allow the editing shipping cost, I have this option activated. Also, I want to allow to create the orders without shipping and this here is activated. Now, let's add an order. I'm going to find the product, for example, shirt again. It opens up here. 10% discount goes here. Quantity here. And all the costs are automatically calculated. If your customer provides a note for you by phone, then you can add it here. For example, ship it by Monday. And here goes a private note. This is a note the customer does not see. Now, if you want to choose a customer, then whether it's new customer, fill all the fields, or it's registered customer, for example, this demo guy. Here you can change the order date, maybe it was yesterday, and status, processing, or cancelled or refunded, or I'm going to leave it to on hold. Payment method, my default method is direct bank transfer, I can change it here. And if everything is done, create order, and now if I open up the inbox, the order received email has been sent to the customer. If I click on send invoice, another email will be sent and this is a regular WooCommerce invoice email, this one here. So this way you can create phone orders in a really simple way. Now if you find this tutorial helpful and you want to support me then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.